church right now. Um, it is a warm day today. It is warm yesterday, warm today. It's like in the 80s today. And uh, I don't even think we've hit the warmest point yet, but it is in the 80s. I think it's supposed to be like really high 80s today. So really nice day. We are heading to the church. We pre-record our services right now. It's 86 right now. So it probably has hit the peak. Um, so anyways, it doesn't feel like 86. I feel like it's not really that hot. Um, but it feels really good. So anyway, we've been pre-recording our services because of coronavirus and everything. We can't meet all together right now. So we've just been pre-recording them on Thursdays. So that's what we're going to do right now. Record our service. It's actually really fun. We just go in and we worship and we have a fun time as a team and we record it and then we, um, we actually show it as like a premiere type of video on Facebook, YouTube, and our website on Sundays. So this is our second week doing that and it's really fun. So we're gonna go record a quick announcement video for this same video and then record the actual service part. Okay, so everything went really good tonight. It was a really good night. We went and got some Wendy's because I know a lot of drive throughs are still open. We haven't been out and going out to eat or anything a lot, but we have to run to Walmart. So we went and got Wendy's first because I was so hungry. I was seriously shaking and like the whole night I needed to eat before we went over there, but I hate that noise with your hands. Oh, I hate that noise so much. Anyway, so we're gonna run to Walmart to get some essential stuff. Thank you, Manny. Manny always has to be as loud as he can possibly be when I turn the phone <coughs> on. Like, I don't understand what happens to him, but anyway, we're gonna go to Walmart. Good morning, so it's the next day. I just did the rowing machine, and I realized too, I was just texting my mom about it. When I used to do the rowing machine before we went like back to the gym here in Texas, we went to New Mexico for a while, and then we had like a long break of not going to the gym. I wasn't working out a lot at all. Um, and so when we first got our rowing machine here, I would do it and it would hurt my back. I have some back issues and I have scoliosis and stuff. So I would hurt my back so badly that I could barely get through 10 minutes in the rowing machine. It was like really uncomfortable. It's always this one spot, <clears throat> one spot in my back that when I do repetitive motions, it starts to just like really, it's like severe. <laughs> so I could barely do it. Well, I realized today that that's not happening anymore on the rowing machine or I really have not noticed that spot in a while. Like I haven't had that that pain right there. So I know that that's for my back getting stronger from working out so much, from working out every day. It's really strengthened my back. I'm getting stronger in general. I've never felt as strong as I do right now. My back is um, way stronger. And so that's exactly what the chiropractor always told me that I needed to do is to get stronger. That way um, I won't have any like progression as I get older and so um, yeah, I'm really excited about that because it doesn't, it doesn't bother it at all now. So I feel like it's definitely strengthened a lot, but I'm going to do just some simple weights. We can't go to the gym right now because they're all closed. I'm sure you know that, but, um, we're just trying to do some simple stuff at home to keep it going and at least maintain what we have. You guys hear these birds, like what in the world? wild they're like so loud all right back to it Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm gonna put some self tanner on um, and just leave it on while I'm home today. I have plenty of time for that, so <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. Okay, so I was gonna use my Saint Tropez tanner. I don't even know where it is, and I know it's probably under my this mess that I have. I need to organize under my sink, but um, I'm actually gonna use this other one, I think, instead because I haven't used this one a lot. And when I did use it, I liked it. I don't always self tan, honestly, I don't, I'm really um, fair skinned, I don't mind that at all. Sometimes I just like to tan a little bit, um, just to change it up, so. Even with self tanner, I, I don't get extremely dark. I don't know why that is, and I've always heard that people just have a certain level that they'll get to, and then that's it, so. 
I think I have a certain level for sure. On this over my face is a shaver. I do tan my face too. And I need to get in some sun because that would help my little breakout here. Whenever I'm in the sun, my skin gets a lot better. So one thing that I've been using, and I actually have some of this on right now, is this um, Everyday Moisture St. Tropez st tropez gradual tan i actually really like this stuff because it is not super gradual um it isn't like if you remember like the jergens gradual tan that is very gradual it takes a while um if i remember right to kind of build that up but this one actually does show a tan right away um after it kind of sets and you know develops a little bit it will show a little bit of a tan so I'm using this one on my face just because I feel like this one's really easy to blend on the face and um, I've used it on my face before. It's never broken me out or anything. Products don't really break me out. I don't really have a lot of product sensitivity. All right, for the rest of my body, I'm gonna use this self tan. Uh, it's Tanologist. I got this at Dirt Cheap. I miss going to Dirt Cheap, but I got this there. Um, Express Tan from Tanologist, it's a spray. So I spray this on and then blend it in a little with this mitt that I have from St. Tropez. It looks gross, but it's just from the tanner. Um, and I have a St. Tropez tanner that goes with this too that I really like. So those are all products that I think work and are not really streaky. Another self tanner that I used to love is Loving Tan. I haven't had it in years, but that was a really good one that was never streaky on me either. Okay, so I'm outside. I filmed a makeup video for tomorrow. I think Krista and I might go live on Instagram here in a little bit. I don't know if she still wants to. I think she does, but I'm probably going to go live on Instagram and hang out. I'm trying to do a lot of things outside today because it's just nice to get out a little bit. Before it gets dark, we might do a quick walk. Um, Manny made good burgers, too. Well, editing Sunday service, too, Manny is. I'm not. <laughs> we have to put waste to get in. And then I can change that. Yeah. I can put um, mail. Yeah, P.O. box. Yeah, that would be good. We're going out for a quick walk right now. And I know here any second Manny's going to take off like running as fast as he can because that's how he walks. Like Manny doesn't go out for quiet, calm yeah, strolls. Yeah. He like runs. Like there's not like any, any slow pace with Manny. He's just going to bolt and go as fast as he can. So we're out. Look, you showing your muscles off. Mm. <laughs> We're out for a walk. I've wanted to do this for literally days, and we haven't yet. So, also, I wanted to bring the mace because, um, in case a dog tries to attack us, but man, said we didn't need it. So, let the record be known. If you, <laughs> if we, if we encounter we get, a dog, if we get attacked by a dog, it's all right because I'm quicker than you. So, you are quicker than me, so it would get me and exactly. not you. Yeah, yeah, I would jump onto your back <laughs> so and we'd run. <laughs> we'd go for it. That's a nice little bush. That'd be a cute place for a picture. It's in those people's yards. So I don't know if they would enjoy that too much, but I'll do it. Just about anything. Spider web. So. Pretty sure a spider bit me on the stomach or something a little bit ago because it felt like it. I went live on Instagram. Oh, I went live on Instagram with Krista a minute ago. That was fun. We think we're gonna do that every day and just kind of get on. <laughs> we have nothing to look forward to right now. So she said, "Oh, it'd be something to look forward to," and I was like, "Yes, I needed that because I told Manny the other day that I was going to start doing." Um, themed meals like Italian night and Taco Tuesday you know all those things people a lot of people do that regularly and I'm not making fun of that I think it's cool but I'm not like a cooking kind of like I cook things you know so we'll survive but like I'm not like fancy or it's definitely just um, so we survive it's not very good Manny <laughs> it is I cook some things good some things I don't cook good <laughs> I and you know I do I'm ribs I make well, really I good ribs don't I you yeah made, shut him right up I actually make good ribs one time well you've never oh, recreated no. it no. We might be encountering one of those dogs that's referring to. I don't think they'd just sit there. <laughs> um, so anyway, I do make good ribs and, huh? Once, because I'm really, the way that I made them, it took literally all day to make that's them. Good. I could make it right now because we're home all day, but it, it takes like, what I think it's five it? or six like hours in the oven. Or yeah, brown sugar. It was like a mixture of stuff, not just brown sugar. But anyway, I make some stuff good, but I'm not like, I don't like to cook at all. So I don't like, oh, I'm gonna make like Italian 
gourmet food like I'm not gonna do that although I love Italian food it's probably my favorite but um, I said I wanted to make theme nights so that we'll have something to look forward to and um, he said like what's wrong with you because that is not something that I would normally do so that's where we're at in this quarantine um, the same we're just out here in the middle of nowhere right. walking around so definitely six feet apart from everybody because there's nobody here that's for sure Manny when I shot the camera off what did you say Ginger? Oh my gosh, the cat from our house is following us. Ginger is following us. Yeah, she's literally following us behind us. Well, I'm just trying to hide as if she wasn't doing it. Yeah, she's following <laughs> us. She tried to bite me earlier. The cat, I was, we have two cats. They're not we don't really, have any <laughs> they're not ours, but they've adopted us. We didn't adopt them. They won't leave. So they come to our house and it's green and ginger. We named them. I know you ain't supposed to name animals that aren't yours. Cause yeah, whatever. We named them. So ginger and green ginger's the one following us ginger's a little bit feisty green's really nice and like always has been um but ginger is definitely we can keep going for a little bit ginger is kind of a little more wild so anyway she um uh what was i gonna say oh i had my feet on her earlier just kind of aggravating her and she was pushing them off and then she like sat up and like snapped at me like a dog would and then hissed at me and I was like, you are kidding me. This is not about to happen. So that's what happened there. Now she's following us, trying to act cute. But that. also when I turned the camera off, Manny said, I'm just kidding, babe. You can really cook. And I'm a good cook. So let the record be known uh, that I actually I can cook things. I, said that. I don't always cook things the way Manny likes them. Cause it's a very different type of desire and food than I grew up with. He grew up with kind of different type of food than me, so I'm learning. I grew but up with good food. He grew up with like more like African, like really seasoned food, and I grew up with hillbilly, <laughs> really not seasoned very much, because we just do like yeah, corn in the middle of nowhere in Indiana. We eat corn off the cob and spread butter on it, so that's how we eat. But it's all right. I'm learning things. But yeah, it's a nice day. We are going to get ice cream real quick from <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> because it sounds really good. I'm gonna get a shake. Really thick right now. I just have really thick hair and it hasn't been thinned or shaped up or anything in a while. So it's coming in strong. It makes me way warmer. I don't know if you guys can see like the um, darkness of the self tanner. I have not rinsed it yet. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, uh, it's not streaky under there. Usually under here it gets a little bit streaky if I don't do it good so that's good but um yeah it's not super dark and I don't know if you can tell ignore the shower back there although it is really clean because we just cleaned it but the curtains like half open um it I don't know if it's showing up as dark as what it looks I haven't rinsed it off yet but again I don't get insanely dark from self tanner so uh, from any kind of tan I just I get to a certain level and that's about it so well, this is open too. I'm needing to organize this thing again. But anyways, this is kind of the shade that I am without it rinsed off. It did definitely give me some color. Okay, I'm gonna make some breakfast. Our children's pastor gave us these eggs. They're just like farm fresh eggs. Really excited about them. And they're very Instagram looking. <laughs> They look nicer, but anyways, we're going to make some eggs and probably some turkey bacon, maybe some toast this morning. Manny, do you just want it scrambled? I don't know, scrambled or fried or like yolky? <laughs> not yolky, so you want scrambled? Or I can fry it and not leave it yolky. How many eggs do you want? My father. No. It's my battery died in the camera, but now I have more than one battery, so getting fancy now I can actually do what everybody else does and switch the battery out. Because <laughs> usually if my battery dies, I just have to go charge it forever, and then it's like I can't finish whatever I was filming. So anyway, I'm sitting here with my coffee right now. Um, Manny wanted me to explain why I'm wearing a Chelsea shirt, kit, whatever. Um, and I don't really know why this is Manny, so maybe he should explain it. But he says that we don't support Chelsea in this house. Soccer team, if you don't know, because some of you probably will have no idea who they are. But, um, yeah, we support Man United. But he has this kit from, um, 
I guess when he's playing on a team, they had these. I don't really, I don't understand why myself, but it's his, so I'm wearing it. A club out here. Mm hmm. It'd be like a club team, yeah. But I still don't understand why they have Chelsea kids. That's what they wanted to wear. <clears throat> so, anyway. Okay, back in the same spot, but it's actually a while later. Have not gotten dressed. Probably gonna wear this for most of the day. It is uh, three o'clock. So, we just recorded. If you can hear Manny, he's drumming in there on electric set. But, um, he's got headphones on. I always feel like I have to say that because if you hear like beating, you can't really tell that it's drums because he's listening to it in his headphones. But, um, so anyway, just got done recording. Manny and I just got done recording a new song for our album. So we've been working with a producer and we send him our stuff and he obviously produces it just like a nor in a studio or something, but it's just, we're not together. You know, we're really far apart, but I send it to him and, um, he, that's some cookies. He produces it. So normally what we do is I will, he's an amazing producer, by the way, like God, that I opened that door and I'm going to make a video about that when the album comes out, I think. But, um, I normally send, I normally will record my rough vocals and just like me playing keys or something just simple to send him at first. He starts working on it and then he sends me something back. I approve it or we tell him, uh, Manny and I approve it or we tell him, you know, we don't like this, don't like this. Generally, we love it because he does an amazing job. Everything that we would want, he does. Um, and, you know, we make any corrections if we think anything needs to be made. And then we put the harmonies on it and that kind of stuff. So we have people come over to record harmonies. I always record a harmony or two. Um, so today we actually recorded the keyboard, rough vocals, which actually I think turned out halfway decent, and a harmony. Normally I'll want to do the vocals, like redo a million times just to get them to be what I want, but today actually it was, I was singing it the way that I want to. I'm sure when I listen back later, I'll be like, nah, <laughs> we're doing it again. But it was better than normal, you know, at first. Good morning. So it is Sunday right now. We just watched our church online. We we um, pre-record our services right now and put them up, you know, to go at our normal time on Sundays, um, as if it's like a live video. We do a premiere on Facebook and YouTube and all that. So. Anyway, we um, get to kind of stay home on Sundays and I, Manny and I respond to comments on our video and things like that and it's actually really fun. It's like the best of both worlds because I'm still leaning, you know, we're still doing regular service really on Thursdays when we pre-record, but then on Sunday I get to be interactive with people and um, on normal Sunday service when everybody's doing something it's a little bit harder to do that like during the service even though we have an amazing tech team that, that run our live stream and everything every week it's just they're all doing something else so you can't just sit there and respond but on Sunday mornings it's all done <laughs> and all we have to do is sit and respond so I actually really like that aspect of it because it just allows it to be more personal I think and more um, engaged and that kind of thing so it's actually been really nice to be able to do that and that's been kind of like one of the perks of this is, and we're home on Sunday morning which is so weird it like feels so strange and of course we miss our church and all of that and miss seeing everybody but it's um, actually kind of a nice different pace to do it during the week and then actually just have church on Sundays and just watch it and not have to go and do everything especially when you're in, a, in the tech department of a church and I know there's other departments too but Tech just has its own different things that literally don't happen within other areas of ministry. It's very, a whole different game as far as tech goes that a lot of people probably don't even know a lot of what goes on behind the scenes of that. So it's so much on Sundays and normally it's like by the end of it we're like wiped and that's like it for us. But it's actually been a nice change of pace to just be able to take our time and edit it over Friday and Saturday. It took Manny a couple days to edit this one just from some things that were happening in it and he added a lot of extra elements and he does a great job with it but um it's nice to, be able to do that and then just put it up and watch it and just have service with everybody and get to talk to people get to pray with people we always do but really get to spend more time i love responding to comments and doing different things like that and so i kind of just got really involved in that and like barely drank my coffee but i was finishing it up a minute ago and i'm gonna make some eggs like i did yesterday they were really good so i'm gonna make some of those you just want what? <laughs> okay, so let's make some eggs. Does this, this one does.
morning. So it is Monday morning. We're about ready to get started with a work day. We are not going in today. We are working from home still, um, but we are doing a Zoom meeting. Last Monday, we still went um, into the office for our staff meeting and then we just came home after that. But today we are doing a meeting on Zoom. So I've used Zoom several times. I actually used to use Zoom for interviews. That's how a lot of churches interview people and things like that, uh, especially when you're like from out of state. So. Um, but I haven't used Zoom in a little while, so we're going to do a little Zoom meeting. I honestly like working um, from home. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like that, so I actually kind of do. All right, we're waiting for our meeting to start. We've got coffee, and we're ready for this meeting to get going. We've got a couple minutes. Oh, while we're in quarantine... I want to film an intro. Rose. On stage. Dance. Wow, well, are you live on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you are on it. I am. <laughs> You're not live on YouTube. Bet. <laughs> you would not do that. I bet. You wouldn't go live because you don't like to do that kind of stuff. I'm not in it. I don't care if you are anyway, you know I would act like that. No, you wouldn't. You'd be I wouldn't. embarrassed. I wouldn't. Honestly, I don't really I care. I wouldn't. What the heck was that? <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so I am, it's like the end of the day. I am going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. So thank you for watching. Remember, you're incredible. Jesus loves you. And we'll see you next time. Bye.